Morning, Cyber Friend. It's Mitty Man. I'm coming back at you from Walks Music. We got another word for the day. I want to give a big shout out to the YouTube family. From Baby Justice all the way up to Big Papa JT. We are counting the privilege and honor to be able to come to you on these here word for the day segments. Uh, matter of fact, Mitty Man is about to get ready to take off on the Bible study series where I'm going to host online I think I'm gonna use Ustream technology to do the online Bibles the online Bible study uh, I just feel that uh, necessary to do these here segments and uh, to do this Bible study uh, it's gonna be like a weekly thing I'm gonna try to do it a weekly thing uh, whereas uh, you know you need to be have some sort of consistency when you're doing things and I, I just got to figure out the best time frame to put it in because I want everybody to be able that want to be a part of it to be a part of it. As a matter of fact, I may have to do it twice on that particular to, to, to twice a day. In other words, I want to schedule it. Whereas the time of day for the international friends to be able to a decent hour for them to also uh, be able to take place in it. I want to. Uh, it, I wanted to be successful in the in the light of bringing light to the Word of God, you know, not for no middle man to shine, but that the Word of God may abound. Uh, I come back today really to uh, to address an issue where I think it was a little bit of uh, misunderstanding, but uh, I got to make things clear when it came to giving. You know, someone had made a comment that they. Uh, uh, must then agree with what I was saying about the churches supporting uh, the gospel. They said uh, most of the churches do not support the gospel. Well, I came back to uh, I came back to make myself clear on that. Yes, and I agree with them. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly, 100%. That most churches do not support the spread of the gospel. I, I mean, if I did come across as uh, being one that was supporting the idea that the churches did support well i'm i'm very very sorry because i didn't mean that at all no 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 on the contrary the churches do most of the churches i know won't support anything they just support bank accounts want to have a, a big bank account that they said that they got a lot of money in the bank and to do whatever they decide that they want to do with funds that's that's the way it is around in this area now, I can't speak for other areas and other places because I don't know. I'm not involved in that. But I know for a fact that these churches around this area do not support the spreading of nothing unless it's peanut butter on a sandwich that they're going to eat. Uh, that's that's about that's about all. I agree with you, brother, 100% on that. But at any rate, we wanna, I, it, it makes me want to go and find scripture. And I want to go, I want everyone to go with me now to the First Corinthians, the 16th chapter. And this is tell us about giving and how Paul told the churches, especially there at Corinth, because it was a lot of paganistics and a whole lot of bad practice. Y'all got to read these uh, letters that, to the churches. See, remember, these were written to church folks. These weren't written to people in the world. These were so, quote, unquote, Christian people that were trying to live the way of Jesus Christ. And Paul was trying to set them in order. Listen at this here. 1 Corinthians 16 chapter started the very very first very, very, it said now concerning the collection for the saints see that collection this is talking about money people as I have given order in other words Paul said as I give an order to the churches of Galatia even so do I you do, that's what he was saying he said now I gave this instruction to the church at Galatia now I'm giving it to you church of Corinth he said upon the first day of the week let every one of you lay us lay us uh, lay by him in store, as God had prospered him, and there be no gathering. That there be no gathering when I come. In other words, let's start right there. May God have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of His word. It's, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that Paul is talking about here money, because it says that as God has prospered you. And it's talking about some type of uh, uh, monetary figure or something, whether it be any kind of gain. He said, as the Lord has prospered, you you lay aside upon the what? The first day of the week. Well, we know that Sunday, people. The first day of the week, that's when most of the Christian 
people gather together in respect to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And that's what the, what the first day of the week when he rose, and that's what the time when most of the Christian believers get together. That's where it all started at, people. And this is what Paul was saying. He said, as God, and may God have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. And I'm agreeing with you, brother, about the churches that most of them do not support the spreading of the gospel. You're absolutely right. And I'm sorry that I didn't make myself clear on that, but I, I've never been an advocate of supporting that the church did that. No, 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 because the church does it. Like I said, the only thing they want to spread is peanut butter on their own sandwich. They don't care whether you have it or not. Most of them that I deal with in this area. Now, I can't speak for the Potter's House because I, I, I'm not out there with Jake's. I can't speak for the other ministry. Now, I, I cannot do that. And the only thing I can say is what I see and hear about on the media or how these different churches, they are supporting ministries in foreign lands and whatnot. I can see that they saying that they are giving and whatnot. That's the only thing I can do. But I know for a fact here in this area where I am, the people I deal with, I don't see them supporting the gospel at all. And I agree with you 100%. But it shouldn't be that way. That's what I was saying. It shouldn't be that way. And really what I was speaking of over more of a personal basis. And I, let, me, let, let, me, let me restate that. I mean of a more of a personal one-on-one -on -one thing. In other words, what are you doing? In other words, I cannot, I cannot stop. I cannot make my local church. I cannot make my local church support and support the ministries and the gospel and the spreading of the gospel. But what? But I can. I mean, in other words, I feel this is what I feel. Now, a lot of people might disagree, and. Everybody, you know, like I said, it, it just according as it proposed in your heart, like uh, Paul was saying. Um, I feel this is this is what I feel that in it, if if I'm going to use my fund to support the gospel, well, if I'm giving my tithe, quote unquote, because a lot of people do tithe. If I'm giving whatever I'm giving, and if I'm giving it to X Y Z church, and if X Y Z church is just banking that money and not doing anything consistent or constructive as far as supporting the gospel and the spreading of the gospel around other over the world and, and, and doing the missionary work that it should be doing, then maybe I should think about giving my money elsewhere. Now that's just the way I look at it. If I'm giving to this specific organization and they are not doing the thing what they're supposed to do, then I'm just as guilty as they are if I'm giving my money to it. See, anything that you are giving into, you are actually supporting. So therefore, if you are giving into a TBN, and TBN is doing what they were supposed to do, then in, 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 in end time harvest, that means that you is just as much as involved in that as they are. Because your money is in it. Your giving. Corbin, they call it. Your giving is in it. So I agree with the, the brother about the, most of the church that are not doing what they are supposed to be doing is for when it comes to giving and supporting of the gospel, they do not. So, like I say, but you it's 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 your responsibility as a manager, as a as a steward of God's that whatever He put you over, that you manage it very well. So therefore, what you do with your father, you need to find a ministry that is supporting the the the, the, men, the, the missionaries of the world and, and the spreading of the gospel. Over. Find those people, and then you support them. That's what I feel. Don't put your money in a dead church that's just trying to get a bank account. And then, like I said, that's, that's no good. Now, that's just me, man's opinion. I don't see that being yielding fruit. Jesus said we supposed to yield fruit. And any branch during him that don't yield fruit, he cut it off, and he, he cast it in the fire. So with that being said, this is man saying, I hope that that has cleared some things up and all. Uh, that's how come I said we must be very, very careful in the way we handle and the, the gospel and, we, and what we say was that we must be very, very clear because some things can go get out of content and can be taken the wrong way. But it, if something get out of content and be taken the wrong way, it's your responsibility to clear it up. That being said, this admitted man hope that it's clear to light up on this thing about giving and may God bless you. Peace and goodbye.